Hi, this is PD at Bergsburg Arcade at BergsburgArcade.com, and this is tutorial 212. Uh, there's not much left in our saving to go over, uh, at least to give an example of everything that we can do with loading and saving. Um, so we've done the model index, we've done hair, we haven't done scale yet, but we have done skin color. So the next thing I'm going to cover is uh, how to load up our character scale. And let me see, if we go into game settings, uh, yes, we do have it saving and loading. Uh, well, we have the saving character scale. Ah, that just calls the width and height. In case you want to call them separately. Okay, so we do save them and we do load them. Uh, now I'm returning a float of... Um, Oh, sorry, I'm returning an array of floats here. I'm actually going to change this. I don't want to return an array of floats. I'm just, well, yeah, I guess there's two ways we do this. We do it as a vector two, or we could do it as uh, an array of floats. I don't really see a benefit either way, but the vector two does require less lines of code. Uh, so we could just say return new vector two and we'll get the X and we'll want to get the Y and X of course is our width Y is our height uh, let's comment this out even though it's saved as an int oh sorry two floats uh, we can return those two floats as a vector 2 because remember vector 2 is just well two floats <laughs> and of course we'll actually have to return the or change the return type as well and I'm actually just going to get rid of all this so there we go one line of code uh, either or it doesn't really matter whatever way you want to do it uh, just keep in mind that um, when you load them up uh, are you getting a vector 2 back or are you going to get an array of floats? So anyway, that's the character scale. Um, let's see, there was nothing else I wanted to do there. So let's go to the PC class. And character scale, I actually want to load up. Mm, I'm going to do it before here. Um, we don't have a class for it yet. So let me close down the skin. And I'll just make one public void load and I'm just going to call it scale. And I'll call this method up here. All right, so let's take a look to see what we're going to have to do here. Now this affects our characters, well, his size in game. And our character consists of actually, well, it's a three-dimensional object. We have X, Y, and Z. And in our game settings, we're actually only storing X and Y. Either you're storing two floats, or you're going to be getting back a vector two. Uh, either way, it really doesn't matter. So you really want to kind of think about it in a 3D way, even though you're scaling on two dimensions. Well, technically you're scaling on three dimensions, but you only have the two dimensions to scale on. And that's because X and Z, we want to be the same. We want to uh, make them just as wide as he is uh, depth wise. Uh, hopefully this comes a little bit more clear as you, uh, as we type this up. So what we're going to want to do is get our transform dot local scale. And we want to assign it a new vector three. And I'm going to go ahead and put these on different lines because it's going to be a fairly long line and I want it to all fit on one screen without having to scroll to the left and right. And now the way we want to do this is we want to get our transform.localScale.x. This is what we currently have. And I'm going to cut and paste this as we also want to get our y and our z. Now this gets our current uh, scale, 
But what we want to do is multiply it by our game settings, 2, and then you can load uh, character scale, which is uh, the vector 2, or we can grab the width. Uh, we don't want the height in this case. Either one will work. So either if you're going to grab the width, because that's all you need, is you can just do it like that. And I'll do the character scale on the next one after this one here because in this one here we're going to grab the height and then on the Z uh, whatever you have you, you want the width as well and then there's two ways to actually get that width the way we have it set up you can grab game settings too load character scale dot x which is the width and that's fine or you can do do it this way here uh, personally I like doing it with the load character width because I don't really need that Y component right now now let's say I was loading it up ahead of time maybe up here you know I could create some sort of variable And then I could use game settings two dot load character scale and then store it and then just reference scale here. So we could go scale. Uh, let me just get spaced out a bit. And scale X. And this is actually supposed to be a capital. That's why I'm not getting it. And then we could go scale.y. And then, of course, scale.x again. And this way here, we're only loading the settings up one time. And we're just referencing what we loaded up. Uh, the other way we had it, we're loading up uh, the references quite a few times. Uh, so this way is probably a little bit faster. And a vector 3 doesn't really take up that much memory, and it will be cleaned up after. So this is probably the, the better way to do it. And, of course, it's much shorter line. Now, just to test this, I'm going to go ahead and say debug.log. And I'm going to append on our transform.localScale. And what I want to do is just see what it is before I apply my scale. And what it is after I apply my scale. So I'll denote this with the 1 and 2. And I'm going to go back into my character customization scene. I'm just going to make a default character except for I'm going to make them really fat, really short. And I'll hit next. And well you can kind of tell you know, how much smaller he is compared to what we have had. Uh, but let's find something we can actually kind of measure ourselves on. So here I am under this windmill, and you can see that I'm pretty short compared to the windmill. I'm just underneath his blade, not quite. Let's get right underneath. So I'm pretty short. So let's go back into character customizations, and of course, if you notice down here, before I had a scale of 111, and afterwards I applied a width of 20% and a height of negative 20%. So let's go the opposite way. I have been playing around with my scales and I think I have it capped at 20% uh, larger or smaller. So we'll start this up. And of course, it helps if I don't hit play again and just hit next instead. So this one's going to be really tall and skinny. So there we go. I probably should lay off a little bit on the height or at least the skinniness. As it does look a little bizarre, but uh, you really can't tell until you get a couple of them standing side by side. But as you can see right now, it's it's quite a bit different. The other guy, get him under a little bit more. Well, the other guy wasn't even near this height. And of course, we have our little debug statements. So let me just go quickly take out those debug statements. Uh, you can leave them in if you want. 
And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me just take a quick look. I think we've covered an example of everything now. So we're loading up meshes. Uh, we're loading up uh, materials. We're loading up materials to go on a mesh. And we've played around with loading up ints and floats. So we've pretty much covered an example of everything. You should be able to customize your character pretty much any way you want now. At least as far as the way they look when they start out. Uh, next, I'm going to be moving on to, well, whatever was the vote of the week. So so here we are at BergsergArcade.com, and I put a poll up uh, when I start to near the end of a tutorial series, and I let people vote on what they want to uh, cover next. And last week, I threw this one up. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, if you do want to have a voice in uh, what we're going to be covering the next week, I do give a few examples or a few options, and I let you vote on it. Uh, so last week it was update the camera script, uh, spell effects, in-game character panel with stats, uh, which won out by three votes it looks like. So if you wanted spell effects and you didn't vote, uh, you'll get a chance uh, the next time the, the votes go up, uh, which will probably be about a week. I don't see me taking too long on doing the character panel. Uh, but yeah, there was generate more item types, you know, different types of weapons and armor. I don't care and you suck. So anyway, uh, if you do want to have a say in it, make sure you head over to bergsergarcade.com and uh, give a vote. And uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do. It does actually help me out. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.